In Defense of Global Capitalism in Swedish, Till Vald Skarpitalismens Forsvar is a book by Swedish writer Johan Norberg promoting economic globalization and free trade. The book was originally published in May 2001 by the Swedish think tank Timbro. Since then, a number of translations into other languages have followed. In the book, Norberg examines the arguments put forward by the anti-globalization movement. According to Norberg, "...the diffusion of capitalism in the last decades has lowered poverty rates and created opportunities for individuals all over the world. Living standards and life expectancy has risen fast in most places. World hunger, infant mortality, and inequality have diminished." This is because of economic and technological development that is the result of free market policies. The poor countries that have liberalized their economies have shown impressive results, while those that have not are stuck in deep misery. Therefore, we need more capitalism and globalization if we want a better world, not less. As of 2008, the book has been translated into a dozen of languages including, English, German, Dutch, Turkish, Estonian, French, Finnish, Spanish, Chinese, Polish, and Czech. Additional translations are available in Arabic, Russian and Mongolian. The book was also the basis for the Channel 4 2003 documentary film Globalization is Good, which was presented by Norberg. Topic. Reviews Nick Gillespie, editor-in-chief of Reason, wrote on the book, "...a powerful moral and economic case for globalization. Norberg throws rhetorical Molotov cocktails both at left-wing critics who would condemn developing countries to poverty by insisting on first world workplace and environmental standards as a prerequisite for trade and at Western governments whose free market rhetoric is shamefully undercut by draconian tariffs on textiles and agriculture, the two areas in which the developing world can actually compete." Samuel Britton of Financial Times wrote. Giving clear and verifiable sources, he nails one by one the fallacies and selective statistics that are used by the anti-capitalist protesters." Ann Applebaum of Washington Post wrote, "...Johann Norberg makes the case that free trade is good for the developing world, good for freedom, good for social progress, even if the dull old Marxists refuse to see it." It can be no accident that not one but two glamorous young pro-capitalists have emerged in Europe over the past year. Norberg and Francis Sabine Herald The anti-globalization movement has in recent years provided a cushion for those politicians, European, American, Japanese and developing world alike, who drag their feet about opening markets. Maybe now, if the young, the hip and the free thinking start pushing the other way, the ministers in their suits will be forced to listen to." Ben Stein, former speechwriter for U.S. Presidents Richard Nixon and Gerald Ford, wrote, "...Johann Norberg's book is a stunningly insightful, brilliantly detailed refutation of the crank theories of the anti-globalists." In defense of global capitalism is a shining example of what a gifted mind can do working with the truth to advance the cause of capitalism, which in the end is the cause of every decent man and woman." William H. Peterson of Washington Times wrote, "...I hail him Norberg for making his case for globalization with solid facts, statistics, bar charts, and lots of flesh and blood examples drawn from his travels." Dave O'Brien of Winnipeg Free Press called Norberg, "...Europe's answer to our own Naomi Klein," and Jacqueline Thorpe of the Canadian National Post wrote, "...it is a sweet irony that the task of defending global capitalism from the likes of Canada's own Naomi no logo Klein has fallen on the shoulders of a pony-tailed Swede who started out as an anarchist obsessed with goth music and black clothes." But it is a role Johann Norberg, author of In Defense of Global Capitalism and at 30, every bit as good looking as left wing pin up Ms. Klein, has easily morphed into. His book, which won the Anthony Fisher Memorial Award in 2002, counters anti globalization arguments with facts, figures, but mostly common sense. Former chairman of the National Bank of Poland Leszek Balcerowicz wrote, 
the Liberal cause has obtained a powerful communicator, Mr. Johan Norberg from Sweden. He combines mastery of facts and a deep understanding of theories, with the gift of lucid and emotionally moving argumentation." Swedish professor of philosophy and socialist Torbjörn Tansho wrote, "...Johan Norberg has written an agreeable book in defense of capitalism and globalization. Even in labor movement discussion circles I think it would repay close study." <laughs> <laughs> Awards <laughs>